Hello everybody, my name is Cyberwolf, and the music might not really sound like much of a horror game, but from what I saw, this is a story horror game, kind of with a little mix of romance into it. Um, so, welcome to Come Alive. Uh, <coughs> kind of had a little, little thing in my throat. This may contain sensitive uh, content, like what? Profanity, blood, and death. Okay, that's completely fine by me. It's Halloween. And instead of taking candies from the frats and sororities across the street, my squad trademark decided to stay inside and watch a horror movie. This is so bad. So bad, it's camp. Not even. Alright. So we got Pine. We got A. We got Pav. And B. Alright, let's, let's talk to Pine. Pine's cool in an uncool kind of way. You know what I mean. He will stop traffic to pick up a shiny rock. Uh, he's that bitch. Hey Pine, you like my outfit? Yeah, I already told you. How's mine? Uh, are you supposed to be a succulent? Yeah, cause I always forgot to drink- Cause I always forget to drink water. And you're free at school events? Um... <laughs> As a junior, uh, you're younger than me. Surprisingly considered, they look more badass than all the rest- than all of us combined. She's the flakiest person I know, and ugh, I can't help but forgive her. Yeah, stab him! Violence is not the answer, eh? Alright, Pav, you got some cool tattoos. That's Pav, who I've been low-key attracted to for almost a year. Okay, maybe more than attracted. Maybe I have a crush. Who wouldn't? Got a little hamster. Oh, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's kind of cool. I think I accidentally clicked something. Or were those always there? Can be more attracted. Maybe I have a crush. Who wouldn't? Uh, they're the reason why I'm here in the first place. Earlier today. <laughs> God damn. There's a lot of people out tonight. Yeah. You want to stay inside? Uh, but I already dressed up. Yeah, sorry to flake. I'm just not in the mood for free candy from frats right now. We could watch a campy horror movie at yours. A movie? I'm watching a movie? Alone with Pav. So that's why I'm in the room instead of out like every other college student. What I didn't know was by we, Pav meant us and our close friends. Do you need something? Uh oh, uh. Why is your hamster on your head? Oh, hamster here? It's because I'm dressed up as a pet owner for Halloween. But you're already a pet owner. You just wanted to ex an excuse to bring hamster around in public, didn't you? I think it's adorable. Bee's the most responsible of all of us. Funny enough, she's also the youngest. Um... B, you know Girl in Red? Uh, B, you ship anyone in the movie yet? <laughs> the detective kind of reminds me of you, B. Really? Thanks. None of the characters are good enough to resemble you yet. <laughs> we all met during college, but I feel closer than them than my actual family. Hashtag just distant Asian parent things. Pav, Pine, and I will graduate once the school year is over. It's crazy to think about. Sometimes I wish college would last forever. All of us together, a short walk away. If you ever want to review the characters, you can pull up their info. Oh, Q for info. 
Oh, there's a cute little thing. Oh my goodness. Use Twitter like a sapphic art and to like sapphic art wishes to own a college, but for now is a tech sellout. A favorite anime is Haikuyu. All right, do they all have favorite animes? Uh, a, owns a little shop on Etsy that she forgets to maintain. Accidentally makes friends on, on Tinder. <laughs> have. All right, plays the guitar. I like that. Oh, Ace, I can relate. Do not perceive me. <laughs> Pine, actually grandma. <laughs> Uh, buys 10 plants, forgets to take care of them all. <laughs> Cyan. Wait, is this me? Witchy. Undiagnosed ADHD. Small and angry. Oh my god, it's basically me. Okay, yeah, I saw that scrape on the knee. This is my character. Favorite color, too? Definitely not my height, but I can relate. I can relate. I have to pee. <laughs> Thank you for the announcement. Have fun, stay safe. <laughs> Let's pause it. <laughs> no, it's okay. I mean, if it's no trouble, thanks. Right click to exit a closed room. Exit room? Yeah. I mean, unless we're gonna pee here, but... Gender neutral bathroom. Pine's room. Cyan's room. Oh, this is my room. You done peeing yet? Oh, right, I was gonna do that. <laughs> I just want to forget about a full bladder. <laughs> I didn't realize that we were watching it in my room. I thought we were. I thought we were over at Pavs. Finished up. Okay. What was that? The silence is eerie. I don't like looking at mirrors, especially at night. All right, let's let's exit the room. Can I turn down the music? I'm gonna turn down the music a little bit, not like too much. Let's go there. Closet, it's locked. As far as I remember, it always has been. As much as I, as much as Pine and I are close, I don't think he'd like me to waltz in without him. Hey, you're back. Hit it, guys. Pressing play. Uh, I saw the weirdest thing. Wait, what's this movie called again? Unstable 3. Why are we watching the third one? We haven't watched the first. You've been here for like an hour and you didn't know what it was called? I swear I've been paying attention. Like, I know the killer wears a bunny mask. Oh, you know the most obvious bit. Good for you. It's giving me Donnie Darko and Hannibal's love child vibes. But like, something went wrong in the neonatal stage. I have a theory about the movie's title, by the way. It's unstable. And there's a serial killer. Would the big reveal possibly be the serial killer is unstable, therefore perpetuating the association between mental conditions and violence? If it does, that's fitting, because nothing else makes sense in, the, in this movie. On screen, the serial killer antagonist uh, gorily murders another student, uh, then plants flowers around the dead body, because killing is art or something. I never got this much uh, action in high school. That's probably a good thing. Yo, it's the detective. Objection! Hey guys, I'm gonna get popcorn. Anyone want some? Oh my god, I'm actually kind of hungry. <laughs> Me. Me too. Thank you, Pav. Should we pause it? Nah, it's okay. Oh, I love the little froggy over there. Why does every mystery horror have a room in red string? Why not blue string? The detective watches from his car as the killer enters the flower shop. No, don't follow the killer inside, please! The detective follows the killer inside, then gets murdered. His body is left to rot in his own car. What did I literally just say? <laughs> K 
Can y'all be quiet? I mean, this is the night. I mean this in the nicest way possible. The serial killer is revealed to be a vengeful spirit from the afterlife. What even? Are you serious? That's the end? Time has never felt so tedious. <laughs> Come on, guys. It was decent. I, it kind of scared me. It scared me as much as Goosebumps 1996. I had to look away for half of it because it was so scary. That's why I love horror movies, because no matter how much I make fun of the tropes, no matter how bad, they never fall to elicit a fight or flight instinct, a shaky breath, a breathing, a beating heart for me. So what y'all say, campy or nay? What's camp? I know Pav invited us all to watch a campy horror movie. But if we're going to go by definitions set by Susan Sontag's notes on camp, that was not camp. Kara Delvin's outfit for the 19 for the 2019 Met, that's camp. What's Met? <laughs> um guys, where did Pav go? Or are they getting popcorn? The movie's already over though. Maybe we should go look for him. Nothing else to do anyways. Sounds good. Yay, Cyan, you coming? Oh yeah, I'll be there. Go on ahead. Okay. See ya. Hex girls. <laughs> I just now noticed that one. Guess it's time for me now. Um, downstairs, I guess kitchen outside let's go to the kitchen I can't read that they're coming for you hey I didn't see you there I'll be up in a sec sure Pav where'd everyone go are they all coming here? Outside. They're not outside. They can't have gotten too far. They must still be inside. Okay. Pine's room? Okay. The closet. They come back to the room? Okay, I must just be a little bug there. Bathroom. Pav? I felt myself black out. When I came to, B was there. Hey guys, you found them first, huh? This is bad. Uh, I'm gonna stay here and help Pav. Can you go and tell the other two? A being alone is exactly what gets you killed in horror movies. I know, but you look like you're in no state to help Pav. And your room is right across the bathroom. Uh, okay. Thanks, Cyan. What the fuck happened? What the fuck happened? Okay. Uh... Guys, you in there? Maybe I'll just check. <laughs> oh my god, I love all these characters, honestly. I would probably be best friends with uh, with Pine. Not gonna lie. Okay, there's really nothing in here to click on, I don't think. What's up? have their what is it they're pointed to the bathroom door and they rushed off I followed shakily behind them P Pav you're okay yeah it wasn't as bad as we thought though just a slight head wound but there was so much blood it's okay I'm fine oh I just noticed the tattoos 
I, I thought they were just cool aesthetic tattoos before. Pav keeps saying that nobody did this to them. Who'd do that? Do you remember anything about who injured you? Anything? No. Well, they had red eyes and this black bunny mask, I think. Like in the movie? Yeah, exactly like that. Anything else? Like when it happened? It was shortly after I left for popcorn. I was in the kitchen and that's all I remember. Should we report it? Okay, well, I'm, I'm gonna go investigate. You guys should stay together. Wait, you can't go alone? Yeah, she's right. I'll come with you. Me too. I'm the strongest out of all of us, so I think I'll be fine, but thanks. No, they're right. You should have at least one person go with you. I can. I'll do it. Investigation sounds like more fun anyways. I can uh, stay here then. Okay, bye then. Uh, you don't know when the perpetrator will be back, so it's important to stay here. I'm looking at you, Cyan. She thinks you're a flight risk. But I want to help too. Please stay. Bye, guys. Why does it remind me of that movie we watched? B would be the detective and Pav is the first and only victim to survive. Then what roles are A, Pine, and I? Shit, I can't remember what happens next. Pav, Pine, and I go back to the, my room. No connection phone. Okay. Okay, that's a tattoo. I was like, why is there a crack on my leg? Wild night, huh? Thank God your hamster's okay. Hey, I need to grab my phone from my room real quick. What for? Gotta tell my dad I can't make family call tonight. Aw, uh, you can still call them. It's fine. I'll just be a sec. Alright, it's 9.07pm. How are you holding up? I'm fine. Thanks for being here. You and everyone else. Suitable, huh? Figures tonight be all nights would be creepy. Yeah, about that. I was wondering... That movie... Pav? Hey, Sai? I think the light shut off. If I'm to hit something soft. Ouch. Oh, sorry. Come here, silly. Do you hear that? Follow me quick. I held on to Pav as we crawled metal and blanket, hitting our elbows and knees. Where are we? Under your bed. I have a bad feeling about this. We held our breath for a few minutes, which turned into several, which turned into ten. I'm bored. Can we come out yet? <laughs> Hi, bored. No, we should not. This close together, I can feel the heart of our... I can feel the heat of their torso near mine. Oh my goodness. Start blathering. Get closer. Get closer? I press against them further. Slow. My fingers inch towards theirs. I wonder if they feel heat in their cheeks like I do. I'm sorry this day turned out like this. Uh, what? Huh? I wanted to give you a surprise movie night because I know how much you like witches and horror and stuff, but it's turned into this real life fright fest. No, no, it's it's okay, Pav. Honestly, there's nothing I'd rather do than spend time with you. I'm glad. You're one of my closest friends, you know that? You deserve a good Halloween. Oh, I have a crush on you. You're hot. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> um, uh, what I meant to say is, I have a crush on you. But you know I'm Arrow. Yeah. I just needed to say it. In case we don't survive. None of that in case- uh, None of that in case shit. We will. And I'm very flattered, Sai, but... I know. You're a wonderful person. A, wonder a wonderful person who deserves their romantic feelings returned. So, will you be alone forever? Sorry if this is ignorant, but... Are you just gonna be alone forever then? 
Well, one day I want a uh, QPR. I guess that's queer personal relationship. Oh, queer platonic partner. Oh. Um, I'm not gonna be alone forever, huh? I don't think anyone wants that. I'll be <laughs> your CPR. <laughs> it's QPR. Oh, yeah. Are you just saying that on an impulse? I don't know if I can meet your needs and stuff. But I want to be with you, Pav. I don't know anyone else like you. Maybe ask me later when your head is clear. I just, there's definitely someone better for you out there. So how are you? How was your week? <laughs> what were you up to lately? <laughs> Don't sound so excited. I am. Let's see. I helped B with her uh, CS109 homework. I played some guitar and I worked on my Rust game. Yeah, Rust is a, has a budding game engine. Cool, right? Uh, and have you seen Rust by example? It's peak documentation. I mean, everything Rust does is great. There's traits. I found myself not nodding, but not quite understanding. Anyway, how about you? Ah, uh, thanks for asking. I just... Let me process. Uh, what you just said. Oh, sure. One thing you'd want. Since you might be the- since this might be the day we die, uh, what's one thing you wanted to see but now might not be able to? That's such a bad question. Oh, then, uh, one thing you want- one thing you want to see in the world before you die? Question mark. Mine is to have climate change and everyone love- everyone I love to be happy. Oh. That's so sweet. That's so cute. Excuse me? I mean, I love that for you. I want that too. You're one of them. My loved ones. Aw, you too. How's... Sasunaru? By the way, how's the uh, Sasunaru fanfic reading going? I did that years ago, Sai. I don't have time for fanfic anymore. Boo. I still recommend Naruto, though. It's a classic. I don't think I'd like it. Oh, then I guess this is- I guess this is where our compatibility- our- not compatibility. Our, uh, relatability to the main character ends. Why not? There's just too much media like that. It's not interesting to me. I want to see more stuff like Odd Taxi or Durohidoro. What? Oh, they're another anime. They're really good. You should check them out. Oh, okay. I mean, diversity is kind of a hard ask. Since the industry is financially incentivized to continue making stuff that's been proven successful. But yeah, I understand. I just want gays who are badass casting magic who, <laughs> who just happen to be gay. None of this, hey, I'm the token gay defined by my gayness. And none of this queer baiting shit either. Now that's a far more specific ask. No, yeah, I know what you mean. All right, I guess I guess that kind of redeems them. Media redemption. Hey, what do you want to see more of more of in media? Have I think more arrow slash ace representation. I mean, I love Sake K and Doctor Stone, but I want to see someone like me, someone who's not really cold, someone who still loves their friends. Just doesn't hold romantic feelings for them. No, yeah, I get that. For example, I love you, and you're not too cold to say it. Ah, oh, I love you too. Hey, why'd you choose your name to be Cyan? Oh, uh, funny story. You want to hear it? Is it because it's your favorite color? That's why I asked. So I was in middle school, writing Literatica. <laughs> Sorry, what? Yeah, I was, I was pretty popular too. Wait, hold up. And my parents were like, Don't use your real name! So I chose my name to be Cyan, because it was my favorite-
That's my favorite color, too. Not that I ever wrote Literatica, but... <laughs> Your favorite cur color is purple, though. God damn. Cyan. Colors. Purple. Colors. Is this story about me? In a way? Is this story somehow about me? I don't understand. I'm having kind of an existential crisis at the moment. Uh... I am both these characters. I'm I'm fucking both these characters. I'm both of them. I'm both of them. I play guitar. I'm Ace. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I accidentally broke my, I accidentally broke my, uh, my headphone stand. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Things change, and now I'm too lazy to change it. <laughs> Bruh. Heavy silence fell over us as though, as thoughts whisked through my head. Oh, shit, I just noticed the time. How... How long was Pine looking for his phone? Is that... Shh. We held perfectly still as the steps sounded around us. And it came to a still in front of the foot of the bed. All I could hear... All I could hear was my breath. So loud it seemed to drown everything else. We stayed silent after it left, for what felt like an endless night. Pav, the lights are back on. I think we're safe. So, listen, that was scary, but good, since we saw their feet. Huh, <laughs> sounds... I sound like a foot fetishist. But now we know their shoe size, kind of. I don't know, I couldn't really see... Could you? Uh, if we know, then we can tell B and help. So, did you see Pav? Pav? I realized that it wasn't just sweat soaking my shirt. Pav? I... You can't be. You'll get back up, right? Right? Uh... Pine? Oh, sorry, let me just... Hey. Hey, Pine. I'm oh, God, thank God you're okay. Is Pav... Oh, yeah. Why am I here? You were knocking on my door, remember? You were shaking. You don't remember? What happened? I accidentally got caught up in a call with my dad, waiting, uh, waiting the electricity to come back on. Then I heard your knock. Then I came to open the door, and you were there, and you carried Pav with you. Of course, I called the ambulance, and they came and picked them up. So they're alive? Yeah. <sighs> Probably. Uh, you don't look so great, I mean. You usually look great. <laughs> you just look kinda... Hey, if you're if you're tired, you should rest. Uh, I'll keep watch. We could sleep together. N not like that. I mean, I'd like that. Oh. Hey, Sai. Yeah. Can I ask you something? Earlier, you seemed shaken. It wasn't just from the movie, was it? What happened? What did you see? I don't want to talk about it. 
Can we just sleep? I don't know if I can go to sleep with everything going on, but sure. We brush our teeth and got ready for bed. I didn't even notice that the character has piercings. Am I fitting a stereotype? <laughs> Am I a stereotype? <laughs> oh no! I try to sleep, but no matter how many times I turn, I can't. Oh no. <laughs> Is the horror game that is the hor is the true horror that this game is actually reading me? <laughs> I'm fucking crying. <laughs> oh my god, pine ps pine tree, pine man, pineapple pen, <laughs> pineapple pen. <laughs> what? And don't call me that. <laughs> I can't sleep. Can you tell me a story? <laughs> what am I, a monkey? Dance for me and tell me a story. You're so bad. Fine, once upon a time there lived a polyamorous olive named Fred. The olive... The olive olived olively until the end of times. The end. What was Fred's kinks? <laughs> Go to sleep. <laughs> you ever laugh so hard you water your drink... Sard the- wait, what? <laughs> you ever laugh so hard, the water you're drinking falls back into your- into the cup? You what? No. I've seen you do that, though. <laughs> I just want to clarify that I asked you earlier about what you saw, because I think I saw it, too. Really? Yeah. Yeah, you're not the only one seeing things. Now we just need a third and we'll be unstable three. What? It's a reference to the movie title. Was that supposed to be funny? Uh, never mind. Is it weird that I enjoy teasing Pine? Whether Pav is a cool teddy bear, well-treated, Pine is a fidget spinner, or a squishy toy. Why are you laughing evilly? <laughs> what? Are you drooling? No. After what it feels like hours in a million counted sheep, the darkness overtakes me. Sorry, Sai. I need to go now. Hmm? What? It'll be okay. It has been a while, and they have not come back. That B and A have not come back. A and B. A and B. Oh my god, they're A and B. <laughs> hey, A, did you get the key? Yep, you know it. Just use my natural charm. You're so chaotic evil. That's why I'm the best sidekick to have in an investigation. How'd you even... No, wait. I don't want to know. Bribed a cleaning lady. Of course. Be, uh, what the hell? A Google Play gift card. Something about wanting uh, Zongli. Well, that's concerning and something to think about later. But it is time now to open the mysterious closet in the back. Yep. All right. Well, I don't know how much longer this game is. Uh, so I guess we better save and quit. Oh, it just closes it. All right. Well, anyways, uh. I am having an absolute blast with this game so far, and <laughs> I really can't wait to check out the rest of this. I am... I'm already having an existential crisis with this game. I can't wait to see the rest of it. I'm glad Pav is probably okay. Um, but I didn't expect the protagonist to change. Um, so I guess we'll see what sort of mysteries A and B get into next time. But thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying it. If you want to play this game for yourselves, a link will be down in the description down below, as well as a link to our Discord so you can stay up to date on whenever I have videos go up or whenever I go live on Twitch, hang out with a cool community, or play a little Pokemon oh. game. There's also Stella. Stella's also here. Um, oh. 
She doesn't have thumbs. She's so she's not in Discord, but you know, oh. she's very upset about it. <laughs> At any rate, thank you all so much for watching. Please give us a like, please the friends, and don't forget to subscribe. On your way out, this is Cyberwolf signing off. Oh.